Gifted and talented children are natural learners who often show many of these characteristics. They may show keen powers of observation and a sense of the significant. They have an eye for important details. They may read a great deal on their own, preferring books and magazines written for children older than they are. They often take great pleasure in intellectual activity. They have well-developed powers of abstraction, conceptualization, and synthesis. They readily see cause and effect relationships. They often display a questioning attitude and seek information for its own sake as much as for its usefulness. They are often skeptical, critical, and evaluative. They are quick to spot inconsistencies. They often have a large storehouse of information about a variety of topics which they can recall quickly. They readily grasp underlying principles and can often make valid generalizations about events, people, or objects. They quickly perceive similarities, differences, and anomalies. They often attack complicated material by separating it into components and analyzing it systematically. Gifted and talented students' creative abilities often set them apart from their age mates in some of these forms. Gifted children are fluent thinkers, able to generate possibilities, consequences, or related ideas. They are flexible thinkers, able to use many different alternatives and approaches to problem solving. They are original thinkers seeking new, unusual, or conventional associations and combinations among items of information. They can also see relationships among seemingly unrelated objects, ideas, or facts. They are elaborate thinkers producing new steps, ideas, responses, or other embellishments to a basic idea, situation, or problem. They are willing to entertain complexity and seem to thrive on problem solving. They are good guessers and can readily construct hypotheses or what-if questions. They are often aware of their own impulsiveness and irrationality, and they show emotional sensitivity. They are extremely curious about objects, ideas, situations, or events. They often display intellectual playfulness and like to fantasize and imagine. They can be less intellectually inhibited than their peers are in expressing opinions and ideas. They often disagree spiritedly with others' statements. They are sensitive to beauty and are attracted to aesthetic values. These characteristics are the basis for being assessed as being gifted and talented. There are various ways one can ad be identified and assessed to be considered as gifted and talented. A teacher can recommend a student that they believe to have these higher intellectual abilities to the proper department for evaluation. Student work samples can be used as ref a reference to see the level of work being accomplished. There can be a portfolio review, but not everyone has the resources to do so. Parents can nominate their children or the student can nominate themselves for review. Another form of assessment is standardized exams. Those who are in the top scoring range can be considered for the gifted and talented program. In New York State, there is a rigorous testing process. The request for testing form needs to be submitted previous to the student taking the Otis Lennon School Ability Test. This testing decides on whether or not a child is indeed gifted and talented.